Center for Biomaterials, Cellular and Molecular Theranostics, established in December 2016 consists of multidisciplinary expertise spanning from physics, chemistry, materials science, nanomedicine, mechanical engineering, and biotechnology. CBCMT thrives to be the hub of translational research to address the unmet needs in treating several critical disorders through cutting-edge technologies. The three thrust areas are medical implants, tissue engineering and molecular and cellular therapy. The center is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and has a strong tie-up with international fraternity. The training, knowledge and opportunity enabled students to fetch several prestigious national and international awards and fellowships and exposure through student exchange programs across the globe. This resulted in securing the post-doc fellowships for our alumni at various prestigious global institutes. Our association with clinicians and industries contributes toward our vision. Welcome to the video tour of Tissue Engineering Laboratory, an integral part of Center for Biomaterial, Cellular and Molecular Theranostics at VIT Velour. Tissue engineering is an interdisciplinary field that involves the application of life sciences and engineering towards the development of tissue substitutes. Tissue engineering combines biomolecules, cells and biomaterials that encourage repair and regeneration of damaged tissues and organs. In this laboratory, we have all the facilities to fabricate biomaterials using different types of polymers and polypeptides for applications such as bone, skin and dental tissue regeneration. Cell Culture Lab associated with Tissue Engineering Lab has all the facilities to work in sterile environment. Here we work with both cell lines and primary cells to model a wide variety of cellular behaviors. We test the biocompatibility of the developed biomaterials as well as perform experiments that help us to address relevant questions related to health and disease. We also study if the developed biomaterial can harness the potential of stem cells for tissue regeneration. The Cellular and Molecular Therapeutics Laboratory's area of research includes gene silencing therapeutics and stem cell-based therapy. The lab is equipped with high-end facilities such as real-time PCR for gene expression studies, a BSL-2 cell culture facility to study human mesenchymal stem cells and cell lines of different origins, 3D cell culture model, and to test synthesized compounds in in vitro cell culture experiments. Current research on cancer gene therapy is based on the inhibition of NF-kappa-B pathway using recombinant adeno-associated viral vectors. We are designing targeted small interfering RNA and microRNA therapeutics as a novel class of therapies attempting to cure cancer. Cancer stem cells are the main obstacle to the failure of existing cancer treatments. So, we are developing novel strategies to target cancer stem cells which is the root of the problem. For fabrication of scaffolds, purified collagen type 1 from rat tails is carried out using dialysis and utilized for various cell culture experiments. Currently, the research projects carried out in CMTL are funded by DBT and DST. The microbial cell culture facility is equipped with a laminar airflow cabinet which provides a sterile environment for preparation of media. Along with it the laboratory also has two orbital shaking incubators of different sizes so as to enable media preparation for different volumes. The laboratory is exclusively used for sterility testing of implants and cell culture media. The laboratory also has a Zeiss microscope attached along with it for fluorescence visualization of cellular morphology and structural molecules in greater detail. Human Organ Manufacturing Engineering Lab, Home Lab, is a collaborative initiative between CBCMT and SIAT China, with a vision to develop human tissue mimics like engineered heart tissues, skin grafts, and corneal replacements using bioprinting technology. By incorporating patient-specific cells, a new paradigm called personalized medicine opens up, through which precise disease models and medicines are made possible. The facility houses two sophisticated 3D bioprinter from Cellink, now Bico Group. These are user-friendly extrusion-based bioprinters with three print heads. The bioinks are extruded and printed into gel-like structures. Bioinks are a mixture of appropriate cells, for example cardiomyocytes or cardiac cells in case of heart tissue, and a polymeric hydrogel solution. The printed structures are cross-linked using chemical or physical methods to maintain stable constructs. For training undergraduate students, the facility has two indigenous bioprinters from Alphatech. 
Students receive training on these devices to familiarize and understand the core concept and complexities associated with bioprinting. Post-training, students receive additional training on the more advanced Selink Bio X3D bioprinters to bioprint complex structures. The three extrusion heads can be loaded with a variety of materials and cells and achieve simultaneous bioprinting of intricate structures such as vascular networks and tissue morphologies akin to human tissue. High-end imaging facilities are used to visualize the 3D tissue mimics. The EVOS M5000 Image Analyzer by Thermo Fisher is a fluorescence microscope that provides high-resolution images of cellular activity with printed constructs. Home Lab also has wet lab facilities for the synthesis of biomaterials and nanoparticles for biomedical application. The facility has a tissue culture lab where we print tissues in a sterile manner. Visualization of cells within 3D bioprinted structures is achieved through the sophisticated FV3000 FluoView confocal microscope from Olympus, Japan, where laser light excites fluorescent dyed tissue samples and cells, emitting a range of wavelengths and capturing intricate details and positions of cells within printed constructs allowing 3D visualization of the constructs. This drug discovery unit is a new addition to our CBCMT center with a research focus on multidisciplinary research, bridging the fields of medicinal chemistry, chemical biology, cell biology, and pharmacy. At Drug Discovery Unit, we currently working on molecularly targeted therapies against various diseases like cancer, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, diabetes. The problem with already approved drugs in the market are not disease-specific. That's leading to toxic side effects. We are developing a methodology to overcome these drawbacks, by making our drugs to target specifically to diseased cells, thereby avoiding toxicity to healthy cells. We recently established synthetic organic chemistry facilities at Drug Discovery Lab, which enabled us to synthesis of novel drug candidates. We extensively use multi-step organic synthesis procedures to prepare our novel compounds. Our synthesized compounds bind tightly with receptors expressed predominantly on the cancer cell surface over normal cells by this we are achieving disease specificity. We are also applying in silico drug discovery methods like structure-based drug design, high-throughput virtual screening, molecular dynamic calculations for our rational drug design approach. Another novel approach we are exploiting at VIT is development of proteolysis targeting Chimera Protac. These synthesized molecule, known as protein degraders are new class of weapon for pharmaceutical drug discovery. These protein degraders target disease causing proteins for degradation and removal from the cell, which is a more permanent solution for disease treatment such as cancer or Alzheimer's disease. Recently, we are working on developing immunotherapy drugs called immune checkpoint inhibitors work by blocking checkpoint proteins from binding with their partner proteins. When these checkpoints are blocked, we can tune our own T-cells or engineered T-cells to kill cancer cells efficiently. We extensively utilize our center's other facilities at the Cellular and Molecular Theranostics Lab to screen our synthesized compounds in in vitro cell culture experiments. Followed by this, we also conduct preclinical evaluation in various animal models to investigate both safety and efficacy of our drug candidates. Our students are getting exposure to cutting-edge facilities and involving in development of innovative projects. By utilization of our new facilities, we secured DBT Ramalingaswamy Reentry Fellowship worth of 1.13 crore and SERB Core Research Grant. We also submitted few new project proposals in collaboration with BARC, New Delhi. Our ultimate aim is to commercialize our innovative drug candidates through CBCMT, VIT at affordable cost. Biocorrosion, Biotribology and Biomaterial Processing Laboratory focuses on enhancing the quality of human life through the exploration of replacements for injured organs. The group focuses on modeling, designing, and fabrication of novel medical materials and prosthesis through additive manufacturing processes that use oxidic polymeric materials and titanium-based alloys. These materials are subjected to cost-effective and scalable micro-nano surface modification techniques such as electrophoretic deposition, anodization, hydrothermal treatment and plasma spraying that mimic the human architecture and enhance biocompatibility. The fabricated materials are tested for their surface and bulk properties, which includes hardness, metability, microstructure, scratch, and wear resistance. 
A Vickers Hardness Tester, equipped with an image analyzer, measures the hardness of surface-modified materials and provides an insight on the surface integrity. Hydrophobicity and hydrophilicity play a major role in biocompatibility of implants. The wettability of different liquids like water, glycerol etc. is evaluated using contact angle analyzer. The dynamic and static contact angles can be measured using this instrument. This provides an insight on how blood and protein interact in behavior on surface modified materials. The porosity and microstructure of the surfaces in 3D printed samples are analyzed using the advanced Carl Zeiss microscope attached with an image analyzer software. The biomaterial group attempts to mimic human bone by manufacturing porous structures using selective laser melting, through an international collaboration at Tall Tech University, Estonia. The surface modified materials are also tested for their integrity using scratch and wear tester. The wear and tear is measured using reciprocating wear tester whereas the scratch tester measures the adhesion of the coating. One of the major causes for the failure of metallic implants, is its poor resistance to wear and tear. The wear debris generated through fretting between bone and implant has led to serious health issues and recall of implants by the industries. Through national and international projects with UK and Sweden, the lab investigates methods to combat poor wear resistance of titanium alloys used for hip and knee replacements. Biomaterial Processing Lab collaborates with clinicians to understand the failure mechanism of hip and knee implants to understand severe wear mechanisms which occur between the taper and the ball, as well as polymer and the metal. Since wear accelerates corrosion, we have customized a tribocorrosion device that measures wear and corrosion synergistically in the presence of body fluids and fetal bovine serum. As infection is a major threat in implantable devices across the world, a funding from BRNS was provided to develop antibacterial surfaces using a simple approach, cold plasma treatment. This facility is also utilized to sterilize dental implants and surgical instruments made of stainless steel and titanium. As sample preparation lays foundation for all investigations, this lab provides an exclusive facility for sample cutting using low-speed cutters, for molding and mounting using cold and hot mounting press, polishing using semi-automated disc polishing machine, and processing through heat treatment using environment-controlled furnaces and microwave heater. Several undergraduates and postgraduate students from different schools carry out their capstone project on biomaterials in all these labs. Welcome to Medical Physics Research Laboratory located at Technology Tower. Our research areas include lithotripsy and laser lithotripsy, radiation physics, photodynamic therapy and hyperthermia, in vitro studies on spine models and in vitro and in vivo studies on urinary stones. The lab is equipped with universal testing machine from Tinius Olsen from UK which was funded by DST. It is equipped with two load cell of capacity 50 Newton and 5 kilonewtons. It runs on Horizon platform. The equipment is used to test compression, tensile and flexural strength of materials like biomaterials, polymers, scaffold etc. This arrangement for spine testing is designed by B-Tech students and fabricated by Jayon implants under the guidance of clinicians and academicians which stands as an example for academia industry clinician collaboration. These are some of the equipments funded by VIT. This equipment is radio frequency damping analyzer from Belgium where a microphone to capture the frequency output. It comes with different sample holder type like circular and rectangular. It is a non-destructive testing method where impulse excitation measurement can be obtained at room temperature. Additionally, this instrument can also measure Young's modulus, rigidity modulus and Poisson ratio. This equipment from Polhemis, USA is a wireless electromagnetic tracker which measures 6 degrees of freedom. This equipment composite piezoelectric oscillator is widely used for the measurement of composition-dependent properties such as ultrasonic velocity, compressibility, elastic constant, Young's modulus and bulk modulus. It's suitable for metals, plastics, polymers and crystals etc.